Hey friend, I've been thinking about some patterns that I want to make in the future so I thought it'd be fun if we had a nice little cozy chit chat and I just talk about some patterns that I want to make. That's pretty much it. So grab a drink, grab your project, your whip, and let's just chit chat together. This is just going to be like a super chill, low key video. I just have some things that I've been interested in and I just want to kind of get your feedback on it and help me decide which one I should do next and just kind of have a dialogue with people and maybe find some other patterns that you guys think I might like based on what I'm showing you. So I'm still kind of early on in my knitting journey, career, I don't know what exactly you want to call it. Um, but I've been knitting for a little over a year or so. I have so many ideas and so many things that I want to make and I just feel like I don't have enough time but I just keep on having to remind myself like Natalie, you only just started this, you still have all the time in the world. So. I figured making a video like this would help me kind of get those I need to make it, I need to make it ideas out of my head and then I can just slowly, you know, take my time and enjoy the process and whatever that might mean for me. So I kind of have like different categories of things that I'm definitely like more interested in and that are catching my attention. Um, so I just want to start with, let's just start with like the first category. and. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I absolutely adore knitting socks. <laughs> and I have recently been opened to another side of socks. And unfortunately, I can't tell you too much about it because it is a secret project. But there will eventually be a video about it later. I just don't want to give too much of it away now. But in short, I have gotten into color work. I've started a pair of socks that has color work in it and this is my first time ever doing color work and I'm obsessed. Like I thought I liked socks. No, I like socks so much more now because of this color work. It has seriously been so much fun. And one creator that I'm absolutely loving right now for color work um, socks is Stone Knits. She actually has a book of sock patterns that I'm actually that I am um, totally interested in purchasing, but she just has the coolest sock patterns, specifically color work sock patterns like chickens and shrimp and geese and flowers and cats and I can't remember what else is on there. Hot cocoa, like just the most amazing stuff that and they just look so. Like the color she uses, mm, it's just, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful and I want to make all of them. I want to make every single pair of socks that she has created, and which is totally unreasonable, but I want to do it. So my goal is like sometime in the next couple of months is to either buy some more patterns of her like individually or to purchase that book that she's made because it, like I just am absolutely loving doing this color work sock. I wish I could tell you more about it, but again, it's kind of a pro little secret project. Um, but I will, you'll have a whole video about it later. So just stay tuned. Okay. So yeah, that is just a category of knits that I'm really excited about. And I'm just really color work in general. I want to get more into with like sweaters and obviously socks. <laughs> Yeah, that's something that if you have feel like you've made a lot of socks and you're enjoying that process and want to kind of go to the next step, like try color work. It really has been so much fun. Okay, that is the first category of things that I am ecstatic about and want to try. All right, the next I have like a couple specific sweater patterns and then I kind of have more of like a type of sweater. Okay, the first one is the wave sweater and I'm blanking who it is Buy. I will put it all here. Um, I recently saw a knitting creator that I follow. Oh my gosh, what is their name? I'm gonna look this up. Lou. Dang it on Instagram. There they are. Lou or Louise made the wave pattern recently, the wave sweater, and it is incredible. That's incredible. Okay, and I want to do that. I want to make that sweater. And I've seen like lots of different color combinations and I feel like it's so cool. And again, it is color work and it just looks so soft and comfy and ooh, 
I really want to do that. So um, that's not anything that I'm thinking of casting on anytime soon, but that is definitely one that I'm interested in, is the Waif Sweater by whoever it is by because I cannot remember right now. So we've got that one. And then I've recently found the business hip nip, hip knit shop. And they have a lot of different patterns on their website. And they have this one called the side by side cardigan. And it's basically like a dual co colored cardigan. And I absolutely love the fit of it. I feel like this style of cardigan is really popular right now. It's like, uh, how do I describe it? But it's like, I want to say countryside, but that doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know where I'm trying to go with that. But it, they just look really soft and cozy and like very soft edges. Like soft texture and like soft look. I don't know what I'm even saying. This doesn't make sense. But I just really like the look of it and I like the two tones. I'm definitely into bright pops of color and I love when cl my clothing has personality and I can have like a piece, like a strong style, like a piece I can style with, if that makes sense. So yeah, I feel like this cardigan would be so cool to wear with jeans or like a little skirt or even like over top of a dress or whatever it might be. I really like it. And I like the colors that they show like specifically in their advertisement of it, but I feel like there's also so many different color combinations you could do that would be equally as cool. Another sweater that I'm interested in is the porcelain sweater by Lini Lene Lene Holmes. It's I'll put it all up here. Um, but it basically looks like one of those beautiful like porcelain plates, cups kind of design that you might find. And it's traditionally done with white and blue as the color work. But I've also seen people do it in different colors, which I also think looks really cool. I just really appreciate the fit of it. And again, like we're sensing a pattern here. Color work, oh, guys, I want, I want to be so good at color work. Like I see so many of these amazing knitting and crochet artists out there who are just so creative and resourceful with their color work and I aspire to be like them. Like I just so badly want to do that and be able to do that and like maybe even create my own patterns? Question mark? Is that something I could even do? I don't know, but I want to. That sounds great. <laughs> I think the porcelain sweater is super cool and it's like that effortless classic kind of never go out of style look in my opinion. Oh, this is back to the sock category. I forgot about this one. Okay. First thing, this is not color work. Okay. Yay. We made it. Not everything's color work on here, but I really want to make some frilly socks. So I found this specific pattern on Ravelry called Midnight Dancer by Sari Nordland. And I just think that is so cute. But just the idea of frilly, ruffly socks, handmade socks is so appealing to me. So I really would like to make a pair of like ones that like specifically could be seen above my shoes. Like I, these are something I want people to see. Like that is definitely another kind of sock that I really want to make. I mentioned that there was like a category of sweaters that I'm really into and I'm not positive on what this category would be called, but I'm pretty sure it's made with mohair yarn, either held double or paired with another type of yarn but it's like these really and i'll kind of put some pictures up here what i mean but like these really airy fluffy a lot of times they will be color work kind of sweaters they're kind of like those sweaters that you see on pinterest a lot like i feel like they are really popular and easily photographed like they they draw people's attention like it catches people's attention some of that like hip knit shop that i talked about earlier they have some patterns for this type of feel and if someone's made a sweater like this before, let me know exactly like what what's the deal with it? Like is it is it mohair? Is it held double? Is it paired with something? I'm not really sure. I think that's it's somewhere within the realm of that. And also, are they practical? Are they fun to make? Are they comfortable? Are they soft? Are they warm? I don't know. I want to know all the things because I absolutely love how they look, but I don't know like realistically if is that something I'm going to like. I mean, I, I'm sure I'll like it. It's knitting definitely want to make another sweater soon i've only made one sweater ever and it was a lot of fun but it was with a super chunky yarn so it went 
quite quick and sweaters are such a big time commitment and mentally I'm just not ready for that so that's why I'm definitely enjoying socks because it seems like a smaller time commitment for me I want to I, I just there's so oh, there's just so many I want to do and I just feel like I don't have enough time does anyone else feel like that like I personally have a lot of hobbies like I like to knit and sew and crochet and I have a lot of plants and so I feel like I have a lot of things that take up my time and so it makes me feel like I don't have enough time to do all the things I want to do like does anyone else relate to that like I'm loving knitting right now I'm absolutely loving it and there's all these things I want to do but I still love sewing and I really like there's a lot of things I want to make for the summer coming up and like I have some vacations planned out and I want to have some of those pieces so it's like when I'm when I have free time I struggle with deciding which one to do is it, this, this, this happened to you like if it does happen to you like what how do you decide to do this like what's your plan of action recently I've just been knitting a lot because I'm in crazy musical um, time in my life if you don't know I'm a theater teacher which is so fun and I would love to do like a video like talking about that um, if that's something anyone would be interested in which probably not because this is not a teaching account and that's okay we are, I'm directing a musical right now and our musical is in two weeks and I've been really busy and I like am at work all day and then I have rehearsal like into the evening and like I'm this is a, today's Sunday um, and like this past weekend like yesterday and today like I had to go like yesterday on Saturday we had rehearsal like all day and then I went surf shopping to find costumes and then today um, I met with some of the other teachers and we like were building set <laughs> and so it's like I've been really busy I didn't really have much of a weekend uh, which is why I'm totally enjoying this little sit down chat with you right now so anyways long story short my time has been preoccupied with more work related things and so when I get home I just kind of want something that I can like chill with so I've been kind of popping on like a TV show and knitting and that's been really nice but there's also so many things that I want to sew right now. <sighs> I'm just struggling with that. I just feel like there's not enough time in the world. I just need to like keep on reminding myself like, Natalie, you are young. You have time. <laughs> you have your whole life to make all the things you want to make. And we live in a culture where when we want something, it's so easy for us to just get it and us to click buy and ship and whatever it is like we get that instant gratification and i just have to remind myself that like good things take time it's actually probably good that it takes a long time because you know i'm not gonna be able to make a sweater probably for a while like it's probably gonna be a couple months before i have a new sweater and maybe the sweater that i'm liking right now maybe i won't like in a couple months so it's i think it's nice to like sit on ideas for a while that way you know it's not just a trend and that's something that you actually like because that's the other thing like i want to make sure these pieces that i'm taking hours and hours and hours and hours and hours which you can see in this video here because I did video about how long it takes to knit things I want to make sure I'm gonna like them for years and years to come and not just because I felt like it was a trend of the time if that makes sense so I don't know man I'm trying to think if there's like anything else that I really have been wanting to make it's just kind of been like these sweaters and these socks like and just color work i want to get better at color work so if anyone has any suggestions for me or different books i can maybe look into getting or videos to watch i would really appreciate that but yeah this has been like so nice and cozy so i want to hear from you okay i want you to tell me what are some patterns and projects or just kind of like themes of projects that you are interested in and that you want to make maybe we can kind of inspire each other a little bit here i'm so grateful that that i'm able to do these things and share this passion with you and it's really fun like having this community to like to talk about this stuff with so i'm really glad that i have it well i probably should get ready for bed because i gotta work tomorrow but this has been a nice little cozy chat with you and I'm so glad that you have been here. So let me know what you're thinking down below and if the pieces that I've wanted to make, if that like inspires you at all or whatever it might be, I wanna hear all the thoughts. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Maybe it will be the secret project video. I don't know, we will see. I'm hoping it will be because I wanna finish it soon so peaceful in here. I've got some candles. I could just go to bed. Mm.